Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. This one we're going to be showing you how you can make a uh, American football um, uh, just using some uh, some simple steps. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to grab myself a sphere. Um, I'm going to make sure that my sphere is being displayed like so. And uh, we're basically just going to make this editable. Actually, before we make it editable, we're just going to change the uh, the size of this to something like 1.4 or 1.5. 1.4 will work. And then we're gonna use a, a basic effector here called the uh, FFD, which we're gonna make a child of the sphere. Um, under object, we're just gonna fit to parent and we're gonna go I believe we're gonna go four, five, and four, uh, something like that. So let's go ahead and look at our uh, front view here. Um, and we're gonna make this sphere editable now. Cool, so that's what we've got. What we're gonna do is go into our point, points mode, use the rectangle selection. Let's grab the top and the bottom, hold shift to grab the bottom. And let's get rid of the Y, we're not gonna to wanna to mess with that um, but we are going to oops we're going to adjust the nose of it okay so we get something kind of like that we can even uh, stretch it out just a little bit and then going back into our rectangle selection let's grab those two areas and let's bring it in a little bit too so we've got kind of that oblong shaped football look all set all right so that's in good shape right there. All right, so now we're back in the perspective view. We're just gonna go to uh, current state to object and we don't need that anymore. We've got our sphere here. Um, let's go back into our front view and now we're gonna kind of shape the, uh, the seams of the football. So let's go to the polygon mode and let's grab our uh, rectangle selection again. And let's just try to split this football in half. Um, Looks like I did a pretty good job. Uh, let's see. I think we want to make sure that, uh, yeah, only select visible elements is checked off so that way we're cutting through the football. So let's go ahead and split this. Um, splitting will basically uh, create, we will, we will keep intact your original uh, shape, but it'll add just the shapes you have selected. So we want to hit delete. Oops. Um, we want to hit delete on. There we go. We want to make sure that we've deleted that because otherwise we're going to have overlapping UVs and it's going to be a mess. Um, so now we've got two polygons the left side and the right side. Um, so if we get rid of that, now we can see they stand alone. So let's call this one our left side. Call this one all right. Sweet. All right, let's uh, let's now go to our left. Um, with the left selected. We're just going to uh, go back to polygon mode. And just hit uh, Command A. Selects everything. Um, oops. We're gonna go to extrude, and uh, we're gonna want to extrude it by. Yeah, five is good. We don't want to create caps or end gons. It's just going to pop everything out by five. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to do the same thing to our uh, to our right side. So let's hit Command A. And uh, cool. All right. So now already you can see we've got this seam um, created. But we want to just make it a little bit cleaner. So we're gonna get a subdivision surface and we're gonna put everything underneath that. And we're just gonna hit uh, Alt-G in here to group that. And there we go. So I grouped my left and right side. I dropped it under a subdivision surface. And I didn't touch my subdivision surface whatsoever. And now I've got this nice uh, traditional American looking football seam, which is when they tie the two sides together. All right. So let's get rid of that for now. Let's jump back into just our left side. Let's turn off our right side. 
we're gonna use the line mode and we're gonna grab like you know it's up to you how many seams you want to have but now this is like creating the football for throwing one two three four five let's grab six lines and then um, if we right click that um, what we're gonna basically try to do is create a spline I think it's under mesh commands edge to spline and now we've got this left spline we're gonna drag out and we're gonna just bring this out to something like right there all right, cool. So this is gonna serve as that seam that goes down the, uh, the center of our football. Um, let's just turn off the null for a second and go to points mode. And we're gonna create some new points. So um, I'm gonna create a point like here and there, something like that. And then if we turn our null back on, let's just, uh, Let's grab these points so we can kind of fold these into the football. I'm just going to grab these two and kind of bring them in and maybe just position them up a little bit more. Good. So that's looking good. The other thing you'll notice about this left spline is it's not, it's kind of jagged. So we're going to make sure this is a bezier and the natural mode is on. So that'll make it much smoother looking for you now. All right, cool, moving on. All right, so I'm gonna jump into my front mode here and I'm just gonna grab a, um, a rectangle that I'm going to resize, change the height a little bit, something like that. I'm gonna turn rounding on and then I'm gonna make it editable and go to my points mode. Okay, so instead of doing that, what I need to do is select these points and I need to disconnect them and then I need to delete them and then I'll probably do these as well these points disconnect and delete oops got a couple more random points here okay cool so this is gonna be like the the laces going down the football so I've got my spline here this is gonna be the um, you know the binding I guess that white part and then um, the rectangle is gonna serve as my uh, my grip for my football. All right, moving on. All right, so back in your perspective view, we are going to grab a cloner object, drag in the rectangle, um, and then we're gonna make sure that we are affecting this with the spline effector, and the uh, effector being the left spline which we should just rename this right now. Let's just call this the spine or the, the grip spine, I guess. And that's gonna go into our effector for spline right there. And so the last thing we need to do is just go into our parameter and just change this to 90 degrees. And if you see the hooks out, make it minus 90. Now we got hooks in. And let's go to our cloner and let's just up the object, the count. All right, there we go. So we've got something here, a couple of these. That one's tucked on the inside. We could offset maybe a little bit. Um, we can play around with the step size or adjust that, but I'm not too worried about it. I'll just add another one. And that one will just be out of view on the inside of the football. All right. So now we're ready for the next step. So really all we have left to do guys is just to um, extrude these and or sweep these um, objects here. And so, you know, with this cloner um, for our grips, let's make it editable. Let's select our children and let us, let's delete those. So let's call this our grips. And then let's go ahead and create something that we're gonna sweep it with. So nice uh, rectangle here, which we are going to size down to like 12 by like 25, I don't know. We'll play with that, but just start with that for now. And then let's put these inside of a sweep. And okay, so we've got 
beginnings of this. The rectangle definitely needs to be sized down a little bit. And then um, having a little issue here. All right, so I figured out what the problem is. What I, what I have in, in my spline effector is an error. So I need, I'm gonna back this up a little bit for you. And this is gonna fix the problem we were just seeing. Um, so I just need to make my grips back, come back into my cloner. All right, cool. Um, so under my spline effector, we've got these start and end. I just need to make sure that my start is beyond that little angle there. And then my end is at the top angle there. So that what I was doing was it was letting it wrap around after that point we created to, to kind of fold back into the fold. And it really didn't like that at all. Um, so now everything is basically a consistent angle. And we should be in much better shape when we try to um, sweep this. Uh, so let's try this again. So I'm sorry about that. Let's make the, these editable. Let's select the children and let's connect objects and delete. Um, and then we're going to create again that, that little rectangle that we need. Uh, let's bring this out. I'm gonna size it down way too small. And then we're gonna sweep this rectangle cloner swap. Good. Now we've got what we want. We've got these laces sticking onto our football like that. Cool. And then the last thing we got to do is with the grip spine, we just have to sweep this as well. So um, I'm just going to duplicate this rectangle and I'm going to drag up my grip spine and I'm going to create another sweep. Swap a Ruski. And let's adjust the height. All right, there we go. And if we come back and look at our football now, you know, we've got some adjusting to do. This is obviously like sticking out way too far. Um, so let's just adjust the, you know, that's probably where our laces need to be. And then we've got to take everything and basically, you know, bring it in back into our ball to a place that we like. This rectangle could use a little more thickness, but all right. I'm basically where I want to be. Um, let's create some materials, just see how realistic we made this. So um, let's go with a brown, you know, give it, leave that reflectance. The old pig skin here. And then let's create a, uh, a nice white for the laces. Let's toss that on like that. Interestingly, it's all right. There's my NFL football. Um, you know, I don't know if it's perfectly to scale, but it certainly looks good enough. Um, checking it out under a physical sky. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that. I think really just. A matter of adjusting the rectangles that uh, are on the sweep um, and, and making it seem like it's all to scale is really the only remaining challenge here um, so probably just bringing in these laces a little bit more but for a little uh, quick football no complaints there um, but yeah, this is show you how all the components you need to make this football. Um, hope this was helpful. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials like this.